The question of whether time travel is physically possible is a subject of much debate among physicists and philosophers. Some theoretical models suggest that time travel might be possible, but these models are highly speculative and haven't yet been proven experimentally. Some solutions in general relativity do allow for time travel. Time travel may be possible if certain geometries of spacetime or types of motion in space were possible. For example, CTC, closed time-like curves, is a concept that arises from the theory of general relativity. Spacetime is described as a four-dimensional continuum in general relativity, with the presence of mass and energy curving, the fabric of spacetime. This curvature can result in the possibility of closed time-like curves, which are paths in spacetime that loop back on themselves and allow objects to return to their past. Physicists discuss the possibility of CTCs such as girdle spacetime. However, the practical possibility of these solutions is uncertain. Many in the scientific community believe that backward time travel is highly unlikely. The concept of time travel introduces potential problems with causality, which is the relationship between cause and effect. The grandfather paradox is a classic example of a problem involving causality. For more information about the grandfather paradox, click the I button above. Time dilation could be used to build a time machine. If an object could be placed in a strong gravitational field or made to move at very high speeds, time would pass more slowly for that object than for observers outside the field or not moving at high speeds. There is a lot of evidence supporting the idea of time dilation. For example, experiments have shown that muons, which are subatomic particles that are produced by cosmic rays in the upper atmosphere, decay more slowly when they are moving at high speeds relative to an observer on the ground. This effect is consistent with the prediction of time dilation in special relativity. Similarly, general relativity predicts that clocks will run more slowly in strong gravitational fields. This effect has been observed, for example, in experiments using atomic clocks placed at different heights above the surface of the Earth. The clocks at higher altitudes run slightly faster than those at lower altitudes, which is consistent with the prediction of gravitational time dilation. Time dilation allows for the possibility of time travel into the future. If an object is moving at high speeds or is in a strong gravitational field, time will pass more slowly for that object than for a stationary observer. As a result, the object will experience less time than the observer and will effectively travel into the future. The twin paradox is a famous thought experiment that illustrates the effects of time dilation. In the thought experiment, one twin stays on Earth while the other travels away at high speeds and then returns. Due to time dilation, the traveling twin experiences time and ages more slowly. Thus, they will be younger than the stationary twin when they return, effectively allowing time travel into the future. However, the technology required to create a practical time machine is far beyond our current capabilities. A wormhole is a hypothetical structure that could potentially allow for time travel by exploiting time dilation. To create a time machine using a wormhole, one end would need to be accelerated to a high speed or placed near an object with stronger gravity to age slower than the other end. However, this would require exotic matter that violates known physical laws. Even if it were possible, the time machine would only allow travel back to the time when it was first created and would not enable the machine itself to be moved back in time. Additionally, some physicists argue that inducing time travel through a wormhole may not be possible due to quantum fields and gravitational effects. The Tipler cylinder is a hypothetical object that involves a dense spinning cylinder that could potentially allow time travel. If a cylinder is infinitely long and spins fast enough about its long axis, then a spaceship flying around the cylinder on a spiral path could travel back in time, or forward, depending on the direction of its spiral. However, constructing such a device would require the density and speed that ordinary matter cannot sustain. A similar device might be built from a cosmic string, but none are known to exist, and it does not seem possible to create a new cosmic string. 
Physicist Ronald Mallet is attempting to recreate the conditions of a rotating black hole with ring lasers to bend spacetime and allow for time travel. However, Hawking proved that it is impossible to build a time machine in a region without negative energy density. Incorporating quantum mechanics into general relativity suggests that these possibilities may be closed. Stephen Hawking proposed the chronology protection conjecture, which suggests that the laws of nature prevent time travel without a complete theory of quantum gravity that unifies quantum mechanics and general relativity, physicists cannot definitively say whether or not time travel is possible. There are various theories and models that attempt to address this issue, but as of now, we do not have a complete understanding of the nature of time and its relationship with the laws of physics. There are many theoretical and practical challenges to achieving time travel. The laws of physics, such as the second law of thermodynamics and the causality principle, impose significant constraints on the possibility of traveling through time. There is currently no experimental evidence to support the idea of time travel, and many physicists consider it to be highly unlikely. Nonetheless, the concept remains an intriguing topic for scientific and philosophical inquiry. Essentially, the possibility of time travel to the past is still an open question that requires further scientific investigation and understanding.